are going into the other side of town to the township garage and that is where they keep all of the wood chips uh, that they uh, leave in huge piles from when they do trimming around the power lines and those kind of things and we can pick them up for free so we're going to go and get a load in the truck um, unfortunately I wasn't able to get the dump trailer uh, from my neighbor to be able to get a nice big load so we're going to do what we've got to do to get it done and give him our information and then we'll get a load and there's the big loader all right so there it is and they actually have somebody from the usda and they take down your information um, we are in a quarantine area for the asian longhorn beetle and the emerald ash borer so uh, it cannot be taken out of our area so they document try to document that stuff pretty well but one load should get us started. I'm actually, if I just did my truck today, I could do two loads in my truck or one load in my neighbor's dump trailer, but it is what it is. We got it. Yay! This will all go around the edges of the fence so we can keep the weeds from growing up through the fence and around the edges of the garden. We had a big problem with that last year. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Haywire Homestead. It is supposed to rain this afternoon, so I'm going to attempt to go ahead and get my seed potatoes or at least part of them and I have a bag of Kennebec that I'm going to be planting in a bed right here behind me. And you can see there's a big stack of mulch here. This is all of the straw and hay and goat poo and urine and everything out of the stalls and we lined it put it down in a row alongside the garden. And the reason why I did that is because I'm actually going to just cover my potato seed potatoes up with it using a method called the Ruth Stout method. Now Ruth Stout was a lady who had done gardening traditionally all of her life and as she got older she said there's got to be an easier way to do this and Basically, she took old hay and straw that people would give her and just covered everything up um, and used that as her mulch, used that as her medium, that it would break down, it would feed the soil, and it would also keep the weeds down so she didn't have any weedings. I actually saw a video where she will actually just continue to mulch her potatoes in the fall, and then as she needs them, she'll dig them out of the ground. So she even uses it as a store, the ground, the earth, and her garden as a storage container, which I know you can do with potatoes and carrots and other root vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully I can get some shots of this. My tripod broke, so I don't have another way to hold my cell phone for video. Let's see if I can get it set up so you guys can see what I'm doing as I plant along this area. I've lightly covered all of the potatoes with um, the, the straw and manure mixture. And then I'm going to wait. We're supposed to get the rain. Hopefully here soon they'll start coming up. And as they come up, I'll add a little bit more. Um, almost like I'm hilling them. And we'll just keep adding a little bit more at a time. We'll see how this works. 
not you know it's worth a try i've never done it before it's an experiment we'll see how it goes i've actually got um, some red potatoes that i need to bring out as well and create another row um so that way we have a row of kennebex and a row of sweet potatoes or not sweet potatoes red potatoes i don't know if i'm going to put any more than that in there because i myself don't eat a whole lot of potatoes um at least not regular white potatoes due to my hashimoto's and we're going to be doing a whole lot of sweet potatoes as well this year so we'll see but i thought i'd share that with you this morning thanks so much for watching and take care